Hello everyone, this is Eva Eckert and this is No Excuses Show. Today is episode 48. Are you looking to create a better discipline, energy and confidence in your life so you can stop making excuses and take massive action in your mind, body, business so you can become happier, healthier and more congruent with your mission? If yes, this show is for you. For those of you who are a badass and for, for those of you who want to become a badass and learn how to apply the no excuses mindset in the main areas of your life, which I discuss the mind, the body and the business and the relationships. In this show, I share really real life situations, uh, experiences, ideas on how the no excuses mindset helped me and my freak family become energy successful, right? And by having me as your accountability coach, you will be finally able to discover the power of self-belief, self-discipline, internal motivation, so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you truly desire by being the best version of you, or at least striving to be the best version of you, because we know that there is no limit, right? We always grow. So will you take the necessary steps to implement what I'm teaching you to hear and what I'm telling you? It's up to, totally up to you. So let's get started, guys. Episode 48. We've been going over for over a year right now. Yes. And in the most recent episode, the, the last episode that I was uh, really sharing with you it was all about how to take the big bold moves but you haven't seen me for a little bit because I went for surgery and I have been recovering and I see you guys logging in thank you so much for showing up and for joining because really I am grateful for those of you who give me the time and give me the time and then the f and and then for the freak time right and when we do the Russian and the freak show thank you so much for showing up and and really engaging with us because this means so much to us that there are people out there that looking for growth right and the growth mindset so today i want to discuss with you the fear and if you can share your experiences with fear please do it and the reason for it is because recently in my life i came across many fears many many and the most recent one that i came across was right before i was going for the surgery the moment that I entered that room and I was left alone because due to obviously COVID and other things, you, the person that drives you cannot be with you. So I will share a little bit, uh, I would say in depth with you, uh, and then we can move on. So kind of, I will give you the, the outline what was ha happening. I see John is there. Hello, everybody. If I don't really say your name, that means that I don't see you, but I know that you are there. So... Uh, the, the, the whole idea, the whole decision that I made was to fix the, the hernia, not the hernia, but the diastasis recti that I had postpartum. And I know that a lot of women might be carrying this for many years, not even knowing about it. And that would be one of the next episodes that I will be talking about. Literally, even how you can discover on your own if you have kids. But today, I'm not going to be touching this. This is something totally different. So because of the hip impingement and we do high intensity workouts, this thing was progressively getting worse. Uh, the look wasn't the best look because it was butchered by a regular surgeon. I'm not going to be giving names uh, back in a few years ago. And I've, I've realized, you know what? It's been bothering me for so long. I will fix it because it will help my life in general. But when I was left alone in that room, uh, you, I, I faced the fear. I faced the fear. And you know, the fear before any surgery is like, okay, am I going to be okay, right? And I'm going to be all right. And the, but the first thing in my head was like, my my kids, I need to be there for my kids. So I was start trying to de dig deep into my why. Why am I doing what I'm doing? And I realized that if your why, whatever you do in life, if it's on a selfish side, you won't be able to stick to it long enough. So let me know, like, what do you think about it? Because when you face fears, when you face some difficult situations in your life, you always ask yourself, okay, why? What is it for? Why am I doing this, right? And uh, those are deep questions. And I had to be, when I was there alone in that room, I had to literally think this through 
and not escape from that room because I was like so fearful. I'm like, what am I doing this for? Why am I doing? It? And I forgot my main reason to make my life better, to make my workouts better so I can show up as a better parent for my kid. So I can do more things that I'm capable of doing because there was always that uncomfortable level and thinking, okay, one day I will get a hernia because this is progressively getting worse. But I keep on not really, I, at some point I was postponing because I was thinking, oh, okay, uh, right now not, not, it's not a good time. And there was, and that there will never be a good time for anything. Like when you think about it, you just need to make a decision. So finally, when I faced that decision, it kind of the hair, hair the, the whole fear grabbed me. So when you think about fear and the fearful situations, how does your fear look like? There has to be a look. Mine was like a giant monster with long legs that was literally wrapping me around and I couldn't move. And that's the paralyzation that we get. A lot of times when we're fearful, uh, we get so anxious, such an anxiety level that the fear paralyzes us, right? We can't almost like move. We can't make a decision. We can't clear, th think clearly. We, uh, our, our, I felt hot. I, w I was having literally all these different um, feelings, not just the fact that I was scared, but I was experiencing different things. And I was at one point, I'm like, I, I, I think this is not for me uh, because I am too fearful of going to the next level. And then I thought to myself, wait a second. It took me so many months for preparation. I made the decision. I have to do it. What's stopping me? And I start asking myself those questions. And then I realize, okay, if I go into an, an a selfish why, if this why is more than benefit not only me by, by, by also others, that's when I calm down. But I also calm my breathing. I start doing breathing techniques. I was saying to myself, really asking questions, where is the worst thing can happen? And also switching the negative talk, the self-talk that we all have when we face the fear into something like, I am going to be okay. I am a very healthy individual. And this is just kind of tying to that specific situation. But I want you to think today about fearful moments that you have. Anything that you were scared of making the decision to go forward. Maybe it's with weight loss. Maybe it's with other decisions that, recent decisions that you have in your life. Something deep, maybe starting a new job, maybe getting a new position at your job, maybe uh, uh, stopping, I don't know, relationship. There are so many different things that we face. And sometimes you cannot go forward because you are full of fear. So what is the worst thing can happen? Also, asking yourself deep questions, uh, deeper, going deeper into deeper levels, how your life will be if you're not going to make a decision. And write your pawns and cons, write it down. And that's what I started doing when I was there. I started literally listing the things to calm myself down, to breathe, and to go forward with, uh, with what I decided. And I thought that would be the worst feeling if I'm not going to step forward into that zone of battling that fear. And I share this with you today because on daily basis, we deal with fear. You can't eliminate fear from your life, guys. It's impossible. This is always going to be existing and part of our lives. If I remember, I was when we went to Costa Rica, I was fearful to get into a uh, discipline because I all overall hate heights. But that was, you know, like a fun adventure thing. And I thought, start calculating. I'm like, I did that. I booked this for my family. I need to do it. This is going to turn into that fear into something exciting. What can happen? How you can benefit from it? Anything in life. And just recently, even yesterday, I had someone on the call, someone that was interesting in coaching. And she was fearful. She was full of fear uh, of starting something new because you don't know what's going to happen. But here's the thing, guys, you will never know and experience this if you're not going to try so what we got to do, we got to make our feet wet, if I would say, just step into the zone of doing stuff, making an action, doing action, following with action, because 
you will wrap yourself around and the fear will wrap you and will paralyze you and you will be stuck in the same place where you are. People are fear of starting a weight loss program. People, people back in the gym and boot camp, when we had the boot camp and the boxing facility, we had people that would come and say, well, I am not ready. I don't think that I can do it. And I said, you will never be ready till you actually start doing it. So what are the few things that you have right now in your life? What are the decisions that you need to make and you like postponing and going in circles and overthinking? Just a few hours ago, I had someone on the call and um, scared of going to the next level. Scared of going to the next level. There's always next level. You got to think. So even with weight loss, you're going to have a next level. And what that means is with fear and doubt and overthinking, you got to eliminate the factor of impatience because that's what it is. We want it now. I want it to be now and over and be done with it. But there is a journey associated with doing anything that you start doing. Anything, anything is a journey. If you think about your life, there is always a journey. Even I just thought and look around my room. When we moved here, it was a journey to put that room together. Right now, I'm in a recovery process. It's a journey. It's a journey to get better. It's a journey like almost starting from the very beginning, doing walks and started very slow and going f forward. And that can be another episode that I will share with you how you can do this. So when I was left in that room by myself, I had to enter deep levels of thoughts and negotiation with me and battling the weak side and like letting the strong side win. And we always have that. And in fierce situations, we will have those two sides. And the stronger side has to win. Because it's the worst thing when you, you want something and then you leave and you feel awful because you didn't do it. More of these regrets you're going to have on your list then victories, guess what was going to happen? You're going to have longer list of regrets, longer risk of not going forward, not having that momentum in your life, and you're going to start hiding in your shell. And that's what I always tell you guys. Uh, when We mention this always, always with our coaching. The journal. Journal about it, about your victories. Stack your victories every single day. Stack them. Think of them. And even if you wanted more and you didn't achieve everything, put it for the next day. Rewrite what you didn't do that day. Make sure that you're going to accomplish. Have it visual in front of you. I love writing and that's what I do. And these victories will make you go forward. And that's important because if you fearful, then what's happened, like imagine the scenario that you haven't, you wanted something, but you got scared. Maybe, I don't know, skiing, skating, um, doing a live video that you shouldn't be doing, but you are scared because you think that somebody will judge you. Who cares? There is 8 billion people, 7, 8 billion people in this world. I mean, do people to find you? I mean, come on, you would have to be very popular. <laughs> Let's think this way. Like, don't be afraid of, let, let people tell, tell you what they want to think. But you know better because you know yourself better and you can think for yourself. And I'm sure that there should be a lot of you who should be sharing your story and your uh, your expertise, but you not because you are fearful that somebody will say something. Who cares? People should be talking and they talk all the time. So let them talk and you do what you want to do because this is your life. Because regret will make you that list longer. You're going you're gonna to start feeling, okay, I didn't do this today. And then the self negative self-talk becomes stronger and then you're not going to do it. And at the end of the day, I have to tell you, I was so thankful that I pursued this because when the doctor opened me up, and this is disgusting, there was a seven centimeters opening in my muscle. And I was working out with this like crazy maniac and doing all these different things. In the meantime, the stomach was pushing forward. How dangerous. Thank God I did it. And I'm recovering and I'm doing this stuff. So 
again, think. Ask yourself the questions. Like I told you before. If you're not going to do it, how your life is going to look like? What's the worst thing can happen? What is the reason why? Why I'm doing what I, why I wanted to do this? What happens if you don't follow through? What are the consequences? How will your life look like if you're going to do this? Imagine this. And more positive thoughts you have, better it is. Because remember, our subconscious mind, it's really dictating a lot of things in us. And if you talk to yourself negatively, if you're doubting yourself, you, you will have a hard time overcoming hard things in life. That's, that's the common thing. So that's why I was telling you, stacking those victories will help you. Like imagine writing all these things down that you have accomplished. It's going to help you for the next day, right? In the evening and in the morning. But if you would start writing all the negative things for yourself, think about how you're going to feel. Like how would you feel? Like if you, if you, or in other words, if you're meeting a friend and the friend constantly talk negatively, bad stuff constantly, how are you going to feel? So why would you talk to yourself negatively? Like, think about it. You can't talk to yourself negatively. You are beautiful the way you are. You are stronger than this world can, can throw at you. And you have the power to speak to yourself positively. And if things are not accomplishing right away, you have a long time to go. But keep on moving forward every single day. Because... Every day that passes by is the day that will never come back. Like, remember this. What we have right now in this moment, when I talk to you, in a few minutes, this is going to be over. And we're going to go forward with our life. And this is exactly situation will never come back around. This is your moment. This is your life. So you need to take charge. Take charge. And how are you going to take charge? By creating disciplines, learning how to do certain things because there are tools with everything. Like we have tools for baking. We know what to use and how to mix the ingredients. There are tools for weight loss. There are tools for AM routines, PM routines, how to be successful. There are tools. And there are people like me and the freak that will share with you exactly what you need to do step by step to achieve that success. And right now we have put together a course of 40 days and 40 nights. This course was never done before by anyone. It was never done this way. Daily, you're going to have a little session that opens up for you and you do that homework. And with this homework daily, you learn the habits. The habits that we've worked for for many, many years and we designed the whole way of doing things so you can become better. And I'm, an, I'm not asking you to just go and... Go about lightly about the FM40, the Freak for uh, 40 Days Habit Challenge. This challenge is for you to implement because a lot of people spend time on learning things, taking notes, but they didn't on implement it. The only way that you can implement is by you. You got to use it. So start with the FM40, give yourself a whole month, Embrace with the FM40 challenge. That's going to be challenge. There are challenging things on the FM40. And every day it's going to be like, wow, accomplishment. Wow, I went forward. I was challenged today. Wow, now I know how to do this thing. Please, FM40 is available for you guys already on the platform. There are actually, I'm working on a nutrition one, which you're going to love because it's going to be 360 viewpoint and you're gonna have all these videos in the meantime right now i really wanted to share this clip this funnel for you that you can sign yourself right now for the challenge so i just send you guys this information here on uh, instagram and after we, i'm gonna finish with this video guys i'm gonna post on facebook the link for the fm40 this is going to be on ongoing challenge always and the, the good thing is that you can start on your own. You don't need anybody in this challenge because the video, the personal video that you get, it's for you that day. You're just going to open, you're just going to listen, and you're going to follow through with your quick homework to do. That mission for the day, that freak mode mission with reflections that you need to do. And that's the challenge. So get right on it. Book your spot. Start today. 
and join the free community with your little notes and responses on how the challenge is going for you. And I guarantee you, it's going to flip you 360, flip the switch for better life, for better tomorrow, so you can become the freak self, because that's my mission for you. So you can become your own awesome freak self superhero. That's your power. Everybody has a power. Everybody has something special about them. And I know that you have it. And once you're going to embrace it, once you're going to connect with this, you're going to thrive. That's going to be like amazing. Uh, 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 like I would say, uh, that's kind of almost like electricity going in. You're going to feel great with your own skin. And that's what it's all about. Everybody has something. Everybody has something to offer. So the congruency, the mission, it's that's how you make your life good. All right, guys, I gotta get going. So please make comments, make shares. What was the fear that you faced recently? How did you overcome it? Did you start, what was, what was the, the, the tool that you have used in your fear? Because remember what I told you, I use my subconscious mind, speaking to myself positively, breathing, using the techniques and connecting to my unselfish why. And when you connect that, I truly believe that's going to change for you. With this said, I will talk to you guys soon. You are amazing. You are awesome. Remember, become your own freak self superhero. I will talk to you soon for the next episode of No Excuses. Bye.